In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying polynomials using a method called rows. The idea behind rows is very similar to how you would multiply, say, 23 times 12. If we were multiplying 23 times 12, we would first start with the 2 and multiply 2 times the 3 to get 6, and 2 times the 2 to get 4. We would then use a 0 for a placeholder and multiply 1 times 3 to get 3, and 1 times 2 to get 2. Finally, we would add these numbers together to give us 276 for our final answer. We can use much the same method of lining things up in rows and multiplying each digit through when multiplying polynomials. Let's take a look at this pattern as we first multiply 4x plus 7y times 3x minus 2y. Let's start by writing them in rows. 4x plus 7y times 3x minus 2y. Again, we'll start with the first term instead of the first number and multiply it by the top number. Negative 2y times 7y is negative 14y squared, and negative 2y times 4x is negative 8xy. Now, we can move to the next term, the 3x, but as we do, we need a 0 as a placeholder. 3x times 7y is positive 21xy, and 3x times 4x is 12x squared. What's nice about this process is it has already lined up our like terms for us in the middle. We can just combine to get 12x squared, and negative 8xy plus 21xy is positive 13xy minus 14y squared, and we have our product. Let's take a look at using this method in one more example. This second example is 2x minus y times 4x minus 5y. Let's write it out in rows, lining up our like terms. 2x minus y times 4x minus 5y. First term we work with is the negative 5y times y, times negative y, sorry, is positive 5y squared. We then multiply the negative 5y times the 2x to get negative 10xy. As we move to the next term, we include a 0 placeholder as we multiply now the 4x times the negative y to get negative 4xy, and 4x times 2x to give us 8 x squared. Now, with our like terms lined up, we're ready to add the columns together to give us 8x squared minus 14xy plus 5y squared for our final solution. Multiplying by rows works exactly like multiplying in arithmetic. Multiply each digit or term by each of the digits or terms above it. As you move over, include a 0 for your placeholder.